633 now we continue to track Hurricane Ian and its impacts. Time is of the essence in Florida. Rescue is working around the clock right now to make sure everybody's safe and accounted for in the storm's aftermath. Yeah, 12 News reporter Kate Walsh is live in our studio. She has a look at more of the damage this morning. It really is unbelievable, Kate. Yeah, it's difficult to watch at times. President Biden has said this could be the deadliest hurricane in Florida's history. Some reports say as many as 19 people have died, but Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said it's difficult to get an exact confirmed count at this point. The hurricane hit as a Category 4 on Wednesday in southwest Florida, centering around the Fort Myers area. But then Thursday, it dumped flooding waters on central and northeast Florida as it weakened to a tropical storm, and now it's off the coast headed for South Carolina, strengthening as a Category one hurricane again. This means on Thursday, though, millions of people were without power across Florida, either from the storm's direct impact or the residual effects. Governor DeSantis said there were over 42,000 linemen in Florida waiting for the storm to die down so they could get to work. Utility companies are dealing with water main breaks on top of it all. DeSantis said fuel is flowing again. He even saw gas stations open in the Fort Myers area. Now, this is video from San Carlos Island, which is located in Hurricane Bay near Fort Myers. Residents lost everything there. This woman showing news crews the damage to her house. Her generator was submerged in water. It's not my first hurricane, but it's my first total loss. So I'm trying to be brave. Um, I pretty much, I think I've lost everything I own. And I'm trying to be brave and know that my family and I are safe. And I'll worry about all that other stuff later. Some islands like Sanibel and Captiva Islands are completely blocked off by land right now. The Sanibel Causeway was destroyed in the storm, as you see in this video. And in the city of Northport, which is in Sarasota County, officials fear rain from the north will be flowing south, causing even more flooding in the coming days. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.